Today, I found out that local legend to Prince George has died. According to his plain obituary, he died February 21st due to unknown circumstances. His death is being covered up. His social medias have been deleted. No mention of his death from local news organizations. Either Vista Radio or the Jim Pattison Broadcast Group, the latter being his employer, and the leader was his second last employer. Only vague notes could be found on obscure obituary sites around the web. Any mention of him on Facebook group gets deleted very fast at the moment, with the comments being boiled down. Hashtag save our children in the comments. Now I guess this is speculation from this point on, because no one is talking about it. But, due to quickly deleted comments, he was supposedly in deep water with police, and his death was a suicide attempt jumping off a bridge. I personally first heard about this tragedy several days before it through in the grapevine, but all I heard was a local radio host attempted suicide, not knowing who. But the biggest name in Prince George Radio? That threw me off guard. And as much as it seems his death is being covered up, I'm left with more questions than answers. But since no one is talking, and all the clues points towards Kevin Cotter was associated with child pornography, and since that is the most heinous crime imaginable, his career and social life was ruined. This is speculation after all. I would sure like some answers. And news organizations like CKPG and 101.3 The River, who at last employed him, must have some knowledge that they're refusing to share in order to save their own butts.